Today's video is me and Adam's anniversary vlog. So if you're new here, my name is Isabel Celine and my partner Adam, we've been together for six years now, which is crazy. So this weekend's vlog is going to be jam-packed with quite a few different things. So we're going skiing very soon. If you'd have watched my what Eat week vlog, you will know that we not long booked it. We booked it very last minute, but that is us. So today's vlog, we are going to rugby, to Elliot's Field, to go into Mountain Warehouse to get some more ski gear because I need some more I need another pair of ski trousers I need some thermals because when we went last year to Avoria's on our ski holiday we went for four days but we only had two days of skiing so we didn't buy very much ski gigs we didn't need to but this time we're going for a little bit longer so I need some more bits so I picked up a new jacket I say new second hand jacket from Vintage which, which is from Mountain Warehouse and a new vintage snowsuit which is PLT ski which I showed you in my last vlog my what eat in a week vlog so we need I need to get myself another pair of trousers thermals and potentially another pair of thermal socks because I don't actually know where they are the ones that we got last year so we're going to go shopping today in Elliot's Field. It won't just be Mountain Warehouse. We'll go around a few shops there anyway. Maybe a bit of Home Sense, TK Maxx, Food Warehouse, B&M maybe. So we'll go along for a little shop. And then we're going to have a really lovely charcuterie board this evening with a bottle of wine. No doubt it'll be a non-alcoholic wine, to be honest. And then tomorrow we are going to practice skiing at Tamworth Snowdome tomorrow. So I'll take you along for that. I might take the GoPro, actually. That'd be quite fun. So I might do that um, and then see what else we get up to tomorrow. So I'm going to show you my outfit for today as well before i go down and have breakfast we've done the we've been to the gym we've done the washing and it is currently 8 35 we want to get to the shops for just after they open so it's nice and chill i love it when it's nice and chill on a saturday for shopping so we're going to go early and do that you would have just seen me do my makeup as well i'm going to be doing a get ready with me next weekend to film for you i'm going to do a q a get ready with me because there is so many new faces on here so welcome if you're new I feel like we need a updated q a because there's a lot of new people here a lot of things have changed and i feel like that is needed if you want to see that so if you want to ask any questions i'm going to be posting it on my community page as well as my instagram so follow me over on there i'll leave it up here for you all of my platforms is is well saline say with tiktok but without further ado i'm gonna stop rambling and show you my outfit love how i'm cutting my head off so i've got this jumper on from primark that i got a while ago absolutely adore this i've got some new look faux leather leggings that i got from vintage i'm going to be taking my lovely hermes dupe bag 
which has got like a little Dior twilly on it. And I need to put my little things in there. And I'm going to be wearing my favourite Jules tweed coat, which is downstairs, and a pair of knee-high chunky nude boots. So my basically go-to uniform for when I don't know what to wear and the weather's not doing bits because it's very dark and cloudy today but we had a gorgeous sunrise as you would have seen at the beginning of this video absolutely beautiful way to start <gasps> oh my god did you see that sorry that was like so random but i just seen the swans just fly past how crazy is that oh that was so cute a lovely start to the morning seeing that sunrise it was beautiful so i'm gonna go make some breakfast and head off to do some shopping together Teardrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is And none of it has helped Experience has made me realize That I won't build my life on empty words Being so damn naive, it only hurts I'm so tired of lighting right now what is my hair but we just got here we're gonna go to a mountain warehouse to start off with to get the ski gear oh they've got a sale as well that's nice yay so i'm just in the changing rooms i'm just gonna try on these thermal things just to see if they fit i've always got some black ones but i found some burgundy ones so i'll show you them on when i try them on so the top's a size 10 and i think it's a little bit too big and the bottoms are a size 8 I'm not too sure actually. It's just a bit baggy. But Mountain Warehouse was a little bit of a fail because there wasn't anything, um, one, my size, um, and two, that I liked, apart from a pair of trousers that matches my vintage jacket. So we're going to have a look online and see if they've got the right sizes. Same with the thermals, but they didn't fit. So we'll have a look online and do an order later, which is fine. So now we're going to have a look in at TK Maxx. I always love to look at the home section where all the foodie bits are. <gasps> look, candy kittens. Yum! Look how cute this is. What even is that? Is it a door? Oh, it is. That's so cute. Look at that Easter egg. Oh, that's cute too. So we're back in the car, I've seen some thermals in M&S, but we just thought we're just going to order it all online, all the ski gear. and. Um, in TK Maxx, I bought this sunrise alarm because I really wanted to get a Lumi one, but they're like £150. I'm not paying that, and they just don't look aesthetically pleasing as what this does. It just looks simplistic and it matches the sideboards with it being bamboo. And it was only £20. And I tried to look for it um, online, I tried to look for it online, but I can't find it anywhere to see if there's any decent reviews of it. But I was like, you know what, let's give it a go. I just wanted a simplistic sunrise alarm clock. Not particularly for the clock, but more for the, the fact that it's so dark and I find it so hard to get up for the gym in the morning with it being so dark. So this might help. So pick that up. Going to give that a go, let you know how we get on. And we're just heading over to the other side of the shopping park now to go to Food Warehouse, which I absolutely love. Why do I get so excited about food shopping over anything else? I feel like that's adulting at its finest. And we're going to go have a look in B&M as well. And you wanted to go in Sports Direct, didn't you, babe? No, Oh, we're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna look online instead. So we'll probably just go there and then probably head home. Oh, look, it's matching cool. But yeah, that is the plan. The B&M, it has been a while since I've been in here. I love how B&M always have the weird and wonderful chocolates that look like they're from abroad. Where's this from? It's like from Australia. What is? Right. Mm. We picked up a few bits. How adorable are these plates, especially the daisy ones? So cute. We were just looking at all these storage bits. I really want to get one of these, but they have like the locking system, but they don't have them. Just in the food warehouse, we've got lots of vegan bits. I love them pies. So just nipped into Aldi and we spotted these. Chippies chip shop curry flavoured potato sticks and Adam said that you had, did you say you had these when you were younger? Yeah. yeah. These are vegetarian friendly, they're rather calm at that funny noise. Oh they're so little! Mm, so I've never tried them before. Adam said he had them a lot when he was a kid, so I'm going to just try them with you. Mmm. 
Mm. Come on. It's too early for you. These are banging. Mm. Nice. They're good. Now we're going to go home. I'm going to shoot some content. And we're back home and I thought I'd give you a little bit of a mini haul of what we picked up. So you know what I said about them colander things? Well, the tubs that I mentioned, um, we spotted some in Aldi. They were like £4 a tub. And I thought they didn't have any in B&M. But they do! I really wanted these fruit and vegetable basket tubs. So it's, it's £1.50. It's got like this little removable thing here. So the fruit or veg can breed. I mainly want this for the fruit because the fruit goes off so quickly. So it has a little mini colander in there. So you can wash your fruit, shake it all off and put it in there. I thought it was such a cool idea. So I was going to get some off Timo or Amazon. But now that they've got them in b and I'm more than happy with that, 150 because I wanted the one. Um, as you would have seen, got the sunrise alarm clock. I'm going to set that up later to hopefully try it out for tomorrow. We've got the Dairy Milk Crispello. We've got Matchmakers Caramel Coffee. They were reduced to a pound. Also got some gravy whilst we were in Aldi. Because I'm completely out. And then, of course, the Chip Drop Curry Sauce Crisps. Got some more crisps. We're going to have our charcuterie board tonight and have got the crisps. Actually, no, it's not a lot. I've got some Doritos left, but still. I wanted some for work in the week. And then I got a pack of no chicken strips because I've got, um, I just wanted it for whenever I need to get some vegan chicken out. So that's my little mini haul. So I'm getting rather peckish. So I said that really strange. I'm getting rather peckish. So I'm going to have some lunch. So I'm going to, I've already put a couple of these in the oven. I had these before. There was a lovely person that watched my Aldi grocery haul that said how nice these were. And I definitely agree with you. These are really, really nice. So I stuck them in for, with a couple of hash browns. And I've got a muffin out the freezer to have that with. That is going to be lunch when that's done in about half an hour. I'm going to put all the stuff away and then get prepped for shooting some reels, which I shall to pop you on a time lapse to do. clothes wise so i'm filming four reels today so i have one here that is with a shoe brand which is these gorgeous shoes that i got sent the other day these remind me so much of Malono, manolo blanics and then these lovely little block kitten heel style shoes a very pointed toe lovely i'll leave their link down below if you like any of those they look really lovely with the little diamond table on the bottom so i've got a couple of outfits to go with these shoes so i've got a really nice navy and white with gold accents to it to match the shoes with them and then with these pair of shoes i'm going with some jeans top and a blazer to go with that and then i have some pieces from a brand called hiccup to shoot and i have got a few little pieces so i've got an all black outfit here to go with my black boots I've got the gilet here that came from Hiccup. I, you will see these on my Instagram. There's also a gorgeous navy loungewear set and a lovely knitted wrapover dress there as well that I'm going to be styling up. Shoes to go with the outfits down here. And then I've got this lovely couple of pieces from Chic Wish. This long sleeve knitted top, which looks really lovely. And the tweed style short skirt thing, which I'm pretty sure I showed you in my weekly vlog, actually. And potentially having this cape go over it. I absolutely love this cape. I'll leave everything linked down below um, to all the bits here with the bits that have been sent from Hiccup, the chic wish bits and those shoes. Let me know if there's anything else that you want linked down below because everything that I mention in my videos I do try and link as much as I can down below for you so it's easier for you to have a look. See so if you want anything yourself and I've got my little black bag there and then the black shoes to go with and the other outfit I'm going to shoot is basically my outfit that I'm wearing today because I haven't actually shot this outfit before for my Instagram. It's my go-to outfit for when we're going out somewhere, I want to be warm, put together, still look country chic basically. So I'm going to film this outfit probably last so that I'm back in this outfit because it'll be a get ready with me video reel. All of my content will be up on my Instagram so if you want to follow me on Instagram I'll leave it here for you. Everywhere is Israel Celine as I always say but with that I'm going to set up my light situation and get filming. Actually no I need to have breakfast first then I'm filming. It's not breakfast it's lunch.
And that is a wrap on filming. I've just set up my sunrise alarm as well. I hope that it works and I've done it properly. Because I normally ask Adam to do these things for me. But I wanted to just give it a go myself. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is my bedside table. It looks a little bit crowded. If I'm completely honest. There's nothing that I can remove for the time being. Because I need this for my phone. But even so I think. Say if that wasn't there. Let's just move that around. And it was literally just like that. It would look a lot more simplistic, but I've got nowhere to put my phone otherwise, so it's going to have to stay the way that it is. But let me show you the function. So it has three different light modes. It's got an alarm, obviously a clock, and it shows the time and the temperature. There you go. It's showing the date. Obviously, it's not that date right now, and the Fahrenheit and temperature. So I'm going to change that in a minute. But the time is right. So I'm going to show you the light. So this is the first one. This is the second one, and it gets brighter each time. And that's the third time. So it should slowly get light in the morning so i'm going to change the date on it i love how it ties in with the wood because i really like the wood but it's a bit of a warm tone wood it wasn't what i thought it was going to be but it's still really really cute and what i was after so because I, I did want a lumi light but they're like 150 pound on amazon at the moment and no way am i paying that even if i get it in a black friday sale or a sale in general i think it's extortionate for a, a sunrise alarm so i feel like this is much better for 20 pound and more affordable if i can leave something similar linked down below or this exact one i will do for you in case you want one yourself you're the same like me you don't fancy spending 80 pound to 150 pound on a alarm clock that is like a mini sun in your room for that price <laughs> then i'll leave a link down below so yes, i'm gonna put this back how it was also an annoying thing is i need to get another plug sorted out because my plug system down here i have another plug that's able to go in here but i don't have another one of these i've got another plug but it's the other way around with the usb so it'd be going into the wall and it wouldn't fit so i'm gonna have to get maybe another one of them plugs from somewhere to so that i can charge my watch because my watch normally sits in here and my phone goes on this wireless charger don't ask why there's a cotton bud there <laughs> i don't know either I don't know what this is either, to be fair. It just showed up one day. It looks like an adapter, but it just sits in there. So I'm going to change the date on this, and then we're going to go chill out and watch the telly for the afternoon. Before I go and chill out, there's a few things I actually wanted to show you. So I'm wearing this set that I actually just shot a reel in. This lovely set from Hiccup. I'll leave a link down below. It's a lovely navy three-piece set. So it comes with a cardigan, a razor-style high-neck top, which isn't too long goes to here on me and then i've got some like fitted but wide leg kind of trousers don't think you can see that but i feel like i should have sized up maybe a little bit but that was my mistake really because the top is it's not tight or anything and the trousers but maybe i could have done with a little bit more room around like the bomb and things because it's giving me like a wedgie every so often <laughs> but yeah i thought i'd show you this cute little lounge dress set that i popped on and there's also a few things that i want to show you seeing as this is me and adam's anniversary weekend this is going to be a really awkward angle but i'm just going to like put yours down here i'm not normally that sentimental on this channel then again i am i do show that side of me but i don't show you this i don't really show you my relationship all that much let me just adjust you a little bit me and adam have been together for six years now and i wanted to show you some memories from our photo albums of the first couple of years we were together so before i get into them there's a couple of photo frames that we have but we have this picture here from when we went to ibiza and in the picture i have the worst bruise on my head because it was a time where I was going through a really bad time when I don't I, there was something going on and I was having like these really random episodes of blacking out in the middle of the night which is really strange because I'd wake up run to the toilet feel like I'm gonna throw up and then I'm there on the toilet and then I just collapse and I'm on the floor but nothing like that happens now all sorted it was like a deficiency in things and what the doctors told me so I was like b12 deficient and something else but I basically wasn't looking after my body during that time in my life and that happened a few times even before I was with Adam it happened quite a few times as well and um, but thankfully it's all under control now and everything is okay just interrupting this part of the video because I just wanted to say as much as those episodes the last time was four years it happened again this week which was super scary um but i went to a and e and they did so many tests on me they did my blood sugar they did my blood pressure they did loads of blood tests urine tests they did an ecg on me and checked me for so many different things and they basically said that um because of all my symptoms um and the fact that i have ibs they put it down to ibs and the fact that um if you have too many ibs symptoms at once it can cause you to collapse because it only ever happens when i go to the bathroom 
Um, so I just wanted to put that in there. Everything's okay. I've been checked out and things like that, but I'm just putting that in there now. I just thought I'd put that in there. I did actually speak about that in my eye best and hypothyroid video um quite a few years ago as well it's not something i really talk about because it's not really a part that i want to go back to and remember yeah just wanted to show you the pictures let's get back to that and then this picture here is from our very first holiday together when we went to santa susana we've been together for four months and it was kind of like a make it or break it holiday i feel like it's such a good relationship test because you like i said you have a make it or break it in a holiday because you're together 24 7 you're doing lots of different things and that was just what made it for us we had the most incredible holiday it was so much fun we went on scooters hired scooters out and we had so much fun racing up and down the beach on them we went and eat, ate loads of food we went and got drunk together it was literally so much fun and then <laughs> I'm not going to show you all of this, but it just makes me, like, so grateful that I have such a beautiful relationship with Adam, and I'm going to welling up even thinking about this. <laughs> He's literally downstairs watching Ted right now. He doesn't even know I'm doing this. So I'm not going to show you too much. We've got, like, our old cards that we kept. This is our... This is what we used to do. We used to get an album for each other. But we've got loads of photo albums from when we were first together, and I'm gonna, just going to show you a couple of photos in here. I'm not going to show you too much, because obviously I don't want to put too much online, because it is my personal life. But let me show you a few photos. So this was from Santa Susana. Look at the scooters! What is this trying to fall out? Oh, this is from when me and James, my brother, went to um, Owen Towers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wonder where that went. So yeah, some other pictures were Adam's surprise birthday that I did for him in these pictures here. We went go-karting. I surprised him with an entire day with all his friends and family and things. It was so much fun. And he didn't have a clue. <laughs> I think I still have that vlog up, actually. Surprising my boyfriend for his birthday. Oh, my 21st. Let me know in the comments down below if you've been here since that time. <laughs> It's been a while. Yeah, you know, that's when we went to London for my 21st birthday. Babies. How random days out are the best. Oh my god, the face mask. I'm not going to show you too much in here because, you know, it is personal. <laughs> so many memories we create together every single day. We're, our be we're at our best together. I love you, Adam. Oh, that's so cute. I am a very sentimental person. I love, like, memories and the gift of memories and things. Oh, it's Bob. That is going to make me cry. <laughs> oh, that's another one. <sighs> this is St. Patrick's Day. I love how I take pictures. I take so many pictures. And I'm so glad that I do. This is your reminder right here. Take pictures of everything because you never know when especially with people that you love because you never know when you're not going to have them in your life this goes for like family members friends pets i honestly i take so many pictures because you you don't know what is around the corner and i'm not trying to be negative or anything like that but this is why I take so many pictures. I always keep all my pictures as well. Good or bad experiences, I always keep them to remind me of things. But I'm going off on a tangent, aren't I? So this year we didn't actually gift each other anything, same as last year, because we put all our money towards a ski holiday, because that's basically our anniversary gift. And get, you know, it's a ski holiday, it's expensive, so we didn't really want to spend an, any unnecessary money on anything. Oh, this is our second anniversary. Oh my god, I'm literally so sentimental. I put like a, a page worth of words in there meaningful words oh there's pictures from zanti the one holiday i didn't vlog oh that's... sophie if you're watching this do you remember this night out there was a guy that bless him he was on his own and he was so drunk and he came to join us and i was like let's take a selfie um we were all like you know i had a bit then um and we took a selfie and it just disappeared <laughs> that was a jumpy jacks Oh, who remembers Jumping Jacks View from Cov? It's all closed down now, isn't it? Wow. Ibiza. Loved Ibiza. It was such a beautiful holiday, apart from my sore head. More from Ibiza. I love going through these albums. I don't do it enough. This was the night we came back from our holiday, and it was a unicorn party at Jumping Jacks. <laughs> I was in my element in that era. I used to be obsessed with unicorns. Like, that was my unicorn era. Halloween party with the family. <laughs> Oh, Christmas. 
See what I mean by like capture everything, take pictures of everything and everyone in your life because you don't know how much they're gonna mean to you years down the line. I love that picture. But yeah, that is all I'm gonna show you because the other albums are in, uh, in storage. That was a cute little sentimental thing for this vlog, the anniversary vlog. So I'm going to, oh God, I just feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so I'm going to go downstairs now, spend time with my man. Yeah, I really hope that little, I hope you liked that little part of the vlog because I don't share that much of my personal life, but I feel like this is a special vlog because it's the anniversary vlog of us being together for six years. But yeah, that is all I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna shut up about it now. We're gonna have a little charcuterie board later on a little bit of non-alcoholic wine so that'd be lovely and i shall bring you along got this wine out we're just about to put some dinner on we're gonna have our little charcuterie board so i've got this iceberg sauvignon blanc not like i know what i'm saying alcohol removed wine so that's what we're gonna have and i'm gonna put you on a time lapse so we can put our bits in the oven i always thought the love was made for me oh well i was just as blue white as the sky could ever be start to dry and even when the sun begins to shine again i've taken all so the our little charcuterie board can never get that word out on half it's all done we've got this lovely board here and then some little extra bits so i've got the hot and spicy no fish cakes from or fish bites sorry not fish cakes from Aldi and this is basically Adam's plate with the pigs and blankets and sausage rolls. I'm gonna have some garlic bread as well. We've got some cool Doritos, we've got some protein sandwich thins to dip in the tzatziki with, and we've also got red pepper and normal hummus. So we've got some apples, crackers of butter, chips that I showed you earlier, some grapes. Thank you for me, didn't I? Red Leicester and mature cheddar cheese, the favour beans that I've got in the cupboard and that is it and then we're gonna crack open the bottle of non-alcoholic wine. And that is our little anniversary night in. Sunday and we're up very early to go skiing so we booked it for eight o'clock because that was the only slot they had left all before that time because it's very very booked up and sold out at Tamworth so I've got my ski gear on I've got my base layers on I've done my hair in these little pigtails plaits I literally look like I'm about 12 <laughs> But it's so much easier if I want to put a helmet on my head and it just keeps my hair on my face So I've got some DLX trousers on and I'm gonna wear my matching DLX jacket that I bought last year for our ski trip. We made an Amazon order last night. I got another set of base layers in navy, some grey trousers to match my winter coat that I got quite a while ago. I ordered some ski socks as well, so I've got everything I need for skiing, so that's good. And I've got my bag pack for after. But when we go and have a little look around the shops, because we're gonna go in Primark, of course, I do need to get some new mascara, because I was just doing my mascara and it's kind of a little bit, you know, it goes a bit clumpy. Not vibe. We're gonna go now, I'm gonna get some snacks to take with, because it's very early, I don't, I don't eat till about maybe eight, nine o'clock for breakfast and it's currently called half, no, half six. I'll eat later on. It's too early for me to eat at the moment. I will take you along for skiing. Oh, I just follow GoPro. I oh, know I'll put my phone in my pocket actually and I'll film a little bit so I won't be doing too much footage but I'll film what I can over there anyway. Would you stay till the morning light or would you follow me or would you let it be if I leave tonight we could do this right we'll find the remedy or would you stay with me now till 
from the snow dome and we did a little bit of shopping around the shops as you would have seen didn't buy too much but i've got a few things to show you here we really enjoyed skiing but i am absolutely shattered now we just did a two hour slot but we got there at eight o'clock literally as it opened so it was nice and quiet for the first hour but the second hour it got really busy so if you're gonna go skiing or snowboarding at the snow dome best time to go and there's not many people is eight o'clock in the morning on a sunday so there's a little tip of the day so we went into primark and superdrug we also went to mcdonald's adam had a coffee and i had some chips because i was starving as much as i ate a banana and an apple fruit does not fill me up in the slightest so i had some chips and i'm just making some lunch now you have to excuse the fact i'm actually so tired like i think i'm gonna end up having a nap after this <laughs> after i've had my lunch we're just gonna spend the day chilling out now i'm gonna read my book we're gonna watch telly and just pure chill out probably see my mum later as well so this is gonna be a chilled out sunday so what i got from primark is a vitamin c bubble sheet mask a revitalizing one because i've been seeing so many people going on about vitamin c and i used to have this vitamin c booster serum so i picked this up too from superdrug and i feel like my skin's not glowing i'm not really like i just feel like my skin's a bit dull and it needs a bit of hydration and a bit of a boost so i picked up this i know that this is really good because i've used this before i was sent it when it first launched and i know it's a really good product i'll leave it linked down below this isn't an ad or anything like that but i got sent this years ago and i know it's a really good nice product and it was 9.99 in super drug buy one get one half price with a members card so i got something else i got this brightening brightening eye gel the vitamin c detox skincare range by super drug so i'm going to try that out because i don't have a skin i don't have a skincare routine of course i have a skincare routine i don't have an eye cream in my skincare routine you can tell i am tired so i'm going to have this tonight and then from tomorrow i'm going to start using these because i think i'm going to give myself a break of the salicylic acid toner because i don't know whether you did i mention it in my what eating week vlog i've come up with like bumps on my chin here and the salicylic acid doesn't seem to be working how it normally does so i think my skin's got too used to it so if i give it a break from that and try something else see if it helps usually works the trick so what else i got from primark was my favorite mascara the false lash queen one this was three pound fifty also this eye gel was 3.99 but so i got it half price with the deal this eye mask was one pound eighty i'll have that later when we have a bath like i do every sunday and i picked up a back combing brush because i keep seeing these really nice slick back bun slick back ponytail looks and they all use like one of these brushes to like really tame all the hair so i really want to try that um as i picked that up for a pound so that's now going to go into my little thing my little hair box and i also wanted to show you this perfume that i was actually sent a few days ago so it's a brand called liquid london um and this is the for her pheromone perfume perfume however you want to say it they've sent it me to try and see if i like it like it doesn't say what notes are in it or what it supposedly smells like so i feel like that's something they need to work on to say what's in it and what it's supposed to smell like but if i spray it now it is a really nice smell but i feel like the formula is very oily if that makes any sense but i'm going to give it a go definitely going to be using it up but i don't know whether you can see from the um the liquid it's quite oily don't know whether you can even tell, tell from there but yeah but even so it's, it does smell really nice but i'm gonna give it a go i'll leave it linked down below if you want to know more information about it i'm just testing it out for the time being see how i get on with it yeah i leave their instagram and the link to this link down below so you can have a look see if you're interested in it because it's to do with pheromones um i don't know too much about it but it's supposed to be like a quite attractive scent we'll give it a go but yeah i just thought i'd show you that but for now i'm gonna put these little bits away i'm gonna get out of this tracksuit because I've had this tracksuit for years and I don't want it anymore. I feel like it's not me. Plus the bottoms are too tight. So they're going to have to go on vintage. And I'm going to wash them and then put them on vintage. Because it's just not me anymore. So I'm going to get myself back in. Sorry, I'm literally so tired. I'm going to get myself into my set that I was wearing yesterday. So it's nice and cosy. Get myself a book, some lunch and have myself a nap. And after that, I literally 
just chilled for the rest of the day, I had a bath, had that bubble sheet mask and just chilled out and read my book. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do stick around, subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment down below what was your favourite part of this video. And I hope you've had a lovely week. Sending you a huge cuddle. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye. I wanna be the life